Hey guys, thanks for checking out my video. Today, we're gonna to be making a uh, wind chime out of a scuba tank. So here she is in all of her glory. She's past her prime and I'm gonna repurpose uh, her into a nice uh, wind chime. So I've already done everything. I, I, all the air is out of the tank. Um, I gotta remove the valve and I gotta remove the boot. So um, right now, let's get into taking off all this hardware and just turning it into just a cylinder all by itself. So first things first, let's get this, let's get this off. So as you can see now, now it's just down to the rounded bottom, which I'm going to take off right here. You see that? Yeah, you can see that. And um, I'll have to find a way to mount something here so I can hang it. And because uh, it's heavy, it's heavy. So the next part is to make a like a jig that has wheels on it so that I can turn this thing sideways on it and spin it perfectly straight. So when I cut it, I, I, just, I can just hold the cutter in one position and then just spin it and it makes a perfect cut. I'll show you, I'll, I'll show you in a second. Okay, that seems to be that seems to be nice and solid. If everything works out, this guy should be able to sit here and roll just per that's exactly what I wanted. So the plasma cutter made pretty quick work of it. Ooh, it's still warm. Um, it, we got a little off the mark somehow. I don't understand how, but it's uh, nothing that a grinder won't fix. So I'm gonna grind all the, all the bumpiness off of it and clean it up a little bit so that it looks a little smoother.
So now I got the, the cylinder cut and uh, I've ground it down so that it's, uh, it's not sharp on the edges. It's not perfect, but it doesn't affect the tone, so um, it's it'll it'll be good. Anyway, now I gotta put in the clanger, or the donger, or the whatever that makes it chime. So um, I'm gonna show you what I came up with for that. So what I came up with is I'm gonna use this as the this is gonna go in here. I'm gonna weld that in there. And hanging from this is going to be this ring. I'm going to drill a hole through this and put this ring in there, which then attaches this brass clip to this steel cable that's coated in plastic. And as the, what's going to make the, the, the clank is going to be this, and this is an old dive weight that goes, these are the weights that you put a belt through and you wear them around your waist so that you sink. And so I'm going to use this as the clanger for the inside of this thing. And I'm going to attach them. I'm going to cut this, make a loop so that it clangs and then make another one down here. And what I'm going to use for the flag that catches the wind that makes it clang, I'm going to use this abalone shell. But I think I'm going to clean this abalone shell up. And I'll show you how I do that as well. But that'll be the little flag at the bottom that catches the wind that makes it make the chime. So that's what's happening next. Okay, I was going to drill a hole right through here, but with these threads, that's going to be difficult. And the drill's going to walk around on it. So I'm going to grind this and, and this part and this part flat so that I can make a mark and then drill a hole through it. So I'm going to do that instead of this for right now. So the last step here is going to be putting this guy on the shell. It's getting all buggered up at the end here. And then I'm gonna hang the shell through that hole right there and bring it in. And that'll be the whole flag that catches the wind. But 
this doesn't look good. So this can be really shiny and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this shiny. So we gotta do that next and then we can put it all together and hear how it sounds. Okay, so I got one bucket of water, just pure water, and then one container that has one part muriatic or muriatic acid to 10 parts water. And then I'm going to dip this shell in this and then rinse it in the in the water to neutralize it. And I'm going to put a respirator on so I'm not going to talk during this because um, the fumes that come off of this aren't good to breathe, so I'm going to take the precautions and I'm wearing gloves, so um, You know what I need something to Get it out of the water out of the acid water. Hang on. I, I'll be right back Okay, I love improvising I'm gonna use this to hook it out and dip it in So here goes the safety gear And here goes the shell. See it bubbling in there? I think that's good. I think it looks better. Yeah. Not bad. Okay, now that I have the shell nice and clean, uh, I let it dry overnight, and now I'm gonna put a, a coat, well, actually I'm gonna make, you know, probably put two or three coats of this polyurethane uh, gloss finish on it, and uh, that'll protect it from the outdoors because now it'll be sitting out in the sun and wind and that kind of stuff, so um, I gotta hang this shell up so I can spray it from all directions. Huh? Okay, I'm just going to hang this up in the rafters. And get to spraying. So while the polyurethane is drying on the abalone shell, it's time to start assembling this. I got to weld this in here, but I got to get this in there first. So this is the way it's going to set up in the in the actual tank. Um, but this won't fit through there. So I'm going to unhook this and now I got to get this in through here and it fits. It's kind of a tight squeeze, but it there. Now that's in. Now all I got to do is weld this in place and then I can reach up from inside the, the bottom and rehook this to that little ring. All right, now to go hang this thing up and see how she sounds. 
so here is the final build. It came out pretty good. I had to do a few modifications. I had to lower the clanger because it was up inside and it it uh, it took too much swing to get it to to make any noise. I also had to lower uh, uh, raise this because I had this too low, um, which made meant that it would have to get even more wind to make it work. But overall, I think it looks great. And it has a cool tone, by the way. Um, that slit that I put up the back of it when, you know, after I cut the bottom off, that slit uh, makes the tone deeper, makes it uh, uh, a deeper tone rather than a high-pitched tone. And I've got high-pitched stuff around, so I wanted a nice deep tone, so... So that's it. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.